Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to the tutorial on how to use Atari 2600 controllers on RetroArch. Basically, uh, basically, uh, you can you can play the same games on emulator just like you would on the real heart console, but using one of these things here. Basically, what what you need to do. The links to the where to get the items, get the item, will be in the description. First off, you need a, a USB adapter that'll allow this thing to be plugged in. Again, I'll link, I'll post a link uh, to where you can get it in the description. And then, and then the second of all is the matter of setup. So you go to your Go to your Retro Arc settings. First off, you need the sign the uh, controllers here. Let's go to it, it settings input. Go to port one controls. From there, you this particular adapter we got set up. That's our paddles. So we set that to the device, and then from there we map the necessary button. So for button zero, which is the uh, left power button on PAL one, for for which is the pa, pa, left PAL button, that's zero there. We assign the button A on the retro pad, and B will assign the button T or the right paddle button to or number one to button B, and then from there. Uh, a matter of setting up a al analog stick because of the because the way it works is that a uh, left uh, paddle does the uh, x axis movement and the right paddle does y axis movement. We'll set it here. We'll set it here. You just you just select that and. Uh, Turn turn the button turn the knob uh, leftwards the map, map the right one to up for left analog Y plus minus and then uh, turn it right for left analog Y plus down now now the left and left analog X minus and the left analog X plus are, are self explanatory. And then from there, uh, you go to your game. Go to your game. Your your PAL controller, PAL game here. And, and then from there, we go to controls. And then we go to port one controls here. Yeah, by default, uh. Is set the retro pad looking for joystick. However, however, there's a little bit of setup for this. You change the device set type to paddles, stell adapter. Of course, uh, they don't sell the stell adapter anymore, but the USB adapter, which I'm going to link in the description, will show, will make use here. And then from there, uh, then from there, we assign. The paddle that we assigned to the A button for player one fire, and the button we assigned B button for player two fire. Now, uh, now, now the uh, now the left analog now now for the uh, dial things for the left out at le for the player one wheel. We assign it to left analog X here, and then uh, assign the player two wheel to the left analog Y. And make sure you save the remap file once you're done. And let's let's uh, demonstrate. See, smooth movement here. Might get you a lot of retro achievements in the process. So we'll play uh, one 
Ready to this? No, we're not going to reset here. This is mainly for demonstration purposes. Here we go. Mm hmm Mm hmm <laughs> and there you have it, folks. The uh, actual, actual paddle controls here. Anyway, we'll close it out here. Close out here. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on the video, and check out more of our content on the channel. Ta-da for now.